First and six, if you have kids, chances are you probably have plenty of Lego bricks around your house. But it's more than just a toy. Crooks are falling in love with them as well. Now the latest victim, a target in Gastonia, where thousands of dollars worth of Lego sets were stolen. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young shows us why this is such a hot item right now with thieves across the country. It's one of those things where, like, you should always listen to your gut feeling, you know? While Jimmy Woody's gut suspected something was off when four people entered his collectible store in Gastonia trying to sell him Lego sets, he bought it. But what he didn't know at the time is that they were stolen. And I was like, yeah, man, I think I have your stuff. Woody is a victim of a theft that's happening in stores across the country. While thieves are trying to sell him their stolen merchandise, big box stores like Target are the ones being stolen from. Wednesday morning, police say two men entered this Target in Gastonia, picked out nearly $3,000 worth of Lego sets and left without paying. In Hickory, police say this suspect made off with $2,000 worth of Lego bricks. In Kansas, police are searching for two people who also walked out with thousands of dollars worth of Lego sets. And in Tennessee, police shared this video of shoplifters stealing six sets worth over $1,500. It's pretty crazy to think about. Charlie Watson is an ambassador of the North Carolina Lego Group. To him, it's no surprise Lego sets have become a target of retail theft. I think it can potentially give fans of Lego a, a bad name because you know, some people may think, well, they're, they're out there stealing that, but I don't, I don't think that they're actually fans. They're, they're just trying to, to, to make money out of nothing. So, and, and I really hate that. Online retailers have made it easy for fans to sell or trade Lego sets. Some, like this Star Wars Death Star, can go for thousands of dollars on eBay. A lot of those, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. After Woody lost $700 to a bogus deal, he's changed his policy. We now um, have everybody fill out a form, and it basically says that if it comes back stolen or if we figure out that it's stolen, we're going to prosecute you is basically what it says.